emotions play a important vital role i argue uh, in, in your everyday life even in not maybe always moment to moment unless you're talking about core affect but but emotional uh, emotional experiences happen much more often probably than people think about it's not just when you get really angry at that driver who cut you off that you're that's not the only time in the day that you're feeling emotion you're you're feeling it in much more subtle and everyday uh, normal situations and, and, and all through the day and they, they and your emotions are what prompt you to do much take much many of your actions if you had no feelings at all if you were just a robot with no feelings when i was on <laughs> star trek the next generation that was what data was supposed to be at least spock was half human but data was purely uh, un, you know unemotional uh, what 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 would cause you to even do anything you you wouldn't you have no desire no goals no enjoyment no joy so why would you get up off your chair you know unless your program specifically said at nine o'clock get up and go make coffee or whatever it is that you know our current robots do but it would never initiate action on its own other than what was programmed into it so i argue that i talk about how that works and, and how emotion is, is is really vital but let me say one other thing and i know that you you'll agree i, I believe you'll agree with this and it's an important point i want to make clear that i talk about the emotional uh, emotion and rational thinking uh, and i don't mean by I, I i say that these are inextricable that they are not only is emotion not counterproductive but there's no such thing it, it, as a purely logical rational processing in your brain that it all happens together and it works together and i talk about how how that happens 